This is the block diagram of the electronics excitation system of the diesel locomotive. The function of the excitation system is to ensure that the traction alternator or the traction generator demand matches the capability of the diesel engine in all the eight notches. The excitation system keeps the traction generator or the traction alternator horsepower demand constant over a wide variation of terminal voltage. Excitation system also ensures that the electrical limits required for the safe working of the alternator or the traction generator, that is the maximum voltage and the current, are suitably imposed. The excitation system controls the exciter field current, in turn controlling the exciter output which feeds the traction alternator or the traction generator field. Thus, the traction alternator or the traction generator output is suitably controlled. We shall now discuss the various components of this electronics excitation block circuit one by one as per their functions but in a non-chronological order. The oscillator operates on the DC input voltage supplied from the loco batteries. The oscillator supplies AC power for the following control functions. They are 1. The excitation transistor 2. The pulse width modulator 3. The ACCR and D. The VCR in the battery bias circuit, to keep the electrical load demand on the diesel engine in line with its capabilities and to help smooth power output during increase of throttle notching or transition, the LCP of the governor is used. The brush arm of the LCP when in maximum position should be 24.4 DC above the battery negative. This can be adjusted with resistance LCR1 and LCR2 which are located on the engine side of the electrical cabinet. This is the suicide and stabilizing circuit. The suicide and stabilizing circuit has twofold functions. Number one, it limits the exciter output to value of 1.5 volts when the GF is open through pulse width modulator winding or the PWM winding. This is its suicide function. And number two, when the GF is closed, it stabilizes the loading or the output of traction generator or the traction alternator. The GF interlock 61E61EE opens and the current flows via the capacitor EC1 and EC2 and completes its path through the PWM winding. This is the stabilizing function. The exciter field is fed from locomotive battery through network of resistance EFR 1, 2, 3 and 4 and flows to power transistor EFT1. This transistor which is turned on and off 800 times per second controls and limits the amount of field excitation by varying the on time in regard to the off time by PWM. The pulse width modulator is a small self-saturating transformer with two AC windings and five DC control windings. The PWM is used as a control device rather than a measuring device. The AC windings are fed from a winding in the oscillator circuit. Each of the five DC windings controls a separate circuit. The two DC windings used in this circuit are 1. The exciter suicide and stabilization and 2. The main excitation control through mixer circuit.
The other two DC windings are used in dynamic braking and one DC winding is used in wheel slip. The ACCR is a measuring device connected in series with the main generator. The main bus bar is arranged to form a 1 ton DC winding. The second DC winding is supplied by the function generator card. There are two output windings powered by the AC current from the oscillator. One of these AC windings produces a signal which is directly proportional to the generator output current flowing through the reactor. The other is used to supply the mixer circuit of the excitation system and this is modified by the function generator. The voltage control reactor or the VCR is a measuring device which provides a signal to the mixer circuit to limit the main generator voltage during motoring or dynamic braking. The VCR consists of two AC windings fed from the oscillator. It contains two DC windings for sensing the main generator voltage and voltage during dynamic braking. The engine speed signal is fed from the taco generator through a saturating transformer ESST located in the ECP panel. The secondary winding of the transformer are connected to the three-phase full-wave bridge rectifier. This provides a reference signal to set the main generator limits. This signal is fed to the reference mixer card set in the excitation panel. It also provides a signal to control the intermediate notch horsepower limits. This signal is fed to the function generator card of the excitation panel. The output of the two reactors and one speed signal are fed to the reference mixer network. Only the greater of the two outputs at any time greater than the reference current or the speed signal and the average value of current is put through the main winding of the PWM to limit the excitation. The function generator provides a signal which modifies the output of the ACCR. With no signal from the function generator, the main generator demand would follow the circuit limit lines in each notch instead of breaking at the proper voltage to follow constant HP lines. A faulty function generator card is usually indicated by the engine does not load fully or by an overloaded engine.